guys and welcome back to my youtube channel as you can see from the title and me laying in bed <laughs> this is my morning routine and to be honest it's not a really really busy day so i am laying in bed checking my phone for a few minutes probably and then i check through my to-do list for the day because every evening i do write what i need to do the day after so i'm just checking through that and then i'm gonna get up and i went straight to the gym this day which I probably do around four times a week or at least try to so yeah I'm just getting out of bed and I make my bed later but I first of all go straight to my drawers and get my gym wear because I feel like if I leave it any longer then I'll probably talk myself out of not doing it so I come back make my bed quickly and then I'm gonna get dressed into my gym clothes because yeah if I do it first thing then I sort of don't have an excuse and I'm just putting on some deodorant and my gym wear is usually Fabletics, Gymshark. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. Some Fabletics leggings and a Gymshark sports bra and jumper. But I do love other gym wear as well. I really like Adenola or Adenola. But yeah, I'm all ready for the day. And now I'm gonna tie my hair back, sort of tame it a little bit and brush my teeth. And then sometimes if I'm not in a major rush like I wasn't this day, then I'll just do a little tidy up if I've left it not the cleanest the night before. I'm just unloading the dishwasher here and reloading it. So I've just sped it up to not bore you guys completely. But yeah, I'm just putting things away so that when I come back, I have less to do. And then we're gonna head out the door. But I do quickly grab a little fiber one bar, which you'll see in a second. Um, and I eat this on the way to the gym just to sort of line my stomach. And this is the new flavor, it's the cookies and cream and it's really good um, and then I just put some trainers on grab my Apple watch which is good when I don't forget it because I feel like it's really hard to remember to wear it every day but here I am putting it on and then yeah I'll grab my coat I'll grab my fiber one bar I'll grab my airpods and a water bottle and yeah we're pretty much good to go I just have a quick snack on the way to the gym is usually a little cereal bar or a fiber one bar and I walk to the gym um, this is my gym <laughs> how many times am I gonna say gym I just did a little arm day on this day and some abs but I only filmed a little snippet because I feel like I get really shy filming in the gym a lot of people sort of give you funny looks but never mind um, but yeah I just did a little session and then I got back where I live, the postman usually leaves my post at the bottom of the stairs, so I grab it on the way up. And this day I had a really big parcel, and I was a bit like, oh, I wonder what this is. Oh, there's me showing off my Apple Watch workout. And yeah, then I just do a little unboxing if I have parcels that day. And I was very shook, very generous PR parcel from Scrub Daddy. And I was like, oh my goodness, three boxes. Um, and I'm very excited to try those products, but then I'm gonna make a quick protein breakfast shake. And I always get questions on this. I just use ice, a banana, um, some protein powder. I've got the banana flavor from my protein, which I'm really liking. Uh, a shot of coffee and then some chocolate oat milk. But I do mix it up with like normal oat milk and different flavored proteins and stuff. But it's such a filling, easy, delicious shake. And it gets my coffee in as well. So I just enjoy that. It's so easy to make and yeah. Then back to my PR parcels, I'll film them, upload them to Instagram and then just have a little scroll on Instagram, do some stories, get a picture ready to upload that day, reply to my manager, things like that, some admin um, and then I'm going to jump in the shower and I didn't actually wash my hair this day. So it was just a quick shower and yeah, then I'm going to get dressed for the day and 
I'm just wearing a very casual outfit. I'm just at home for most of the day. Oh, that's me putting my dirty washing in my wash basket. Um, and then I'm gonna put some perfume on. I feel like I feel ready for the day once I've got perfume on. And this is the one I mentioned in my everyday makeup routine as well. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it, but I'll link it down below. And then I'm gonna sit down and do my makeup. And I do not do my makeup every single day, but this day I was gonna get some content. And then later on in the video, I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair. And not really later on, more like in a minute. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch it back to me actually talking to the camera. And yeah, hope you enjoyed my morning routine. Hi guys, I hope you've enjoyed my morning routine so far. Um, I am going to sit down and do my hair for you guys. I've had so many requests on how I curl my hair since I did my Primark haul um, because I had my hair curled in that video. And yeah, I've just had so many questions on how I did it. It's so simple, so don't get your hopes up. I figured this is part of my morning routine anyway today because I'm gonna be shooting some content later, so I am gonna do my hair, um, I mean, look at it it's a little bit of a mess right now um i did wash it yesterday so it is dry i think i'm very lazy when it comes to my hair i really avoid drying it with a hair dryer i just like to let it dry naturally and then you know put some heat on it but yeah i'm gonna curl it for you guys to end this video nicely i thought it'd be a nice little addition because i have had so many requests so I thought I'd put it at the end of my morning routine. So I'm just letting these heat up. I don't tend to use that many products in my hair. At the moment, it's just been cut, so it's in pretty good condition as well. Um, but if I do, I like a little argan oil or something like that. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I switch up my shampoo and conditioner quite often. Um, so I can't really tell you like a holy grail because it honestly depends what mood I'm in. And if you see my shower, I have about five on the go. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've just done my makeup. And of course I don't do my hair every day. If you do, then I'm very jealous of your um, ambition <laughs> because I'm just a little bit lazy when it comes to it. I'm gonna take it down. And this is literally just in a bun from when I had a shower. Sometimes I can't avoid not washing it because I get super sweaty in the gym. But today I didn't because it was an arm arms day. But cardio and legs, the sweat is real and I usually do have to wash it. But I try and hold out and I'm lucky enough where I've got quite thick hair, I can usually get away with washing it like once or twice a week which some of you guys are gonna be like, uh, but honestly, my hair doesn't get very greasy very often. I washed it yesterday, so it's really quite fresh, and I'm gonna be curling it. My natural hair when I've brushed it is not cute. Um, as you can see, it's quite frizzy, but if I leave it, like if I wash it and then just brush it and let it dry when it's down, it is quite nice and wavy. Um, but most of the time it gets in my way so I do chuck it up and then it just sort of dries a little bit crazy. Curlers I usually grab are from Beauty Works and they're very cute, they're very good. They get the job done, they heat up really fast and they come in like a little mat um, bag thing which is quite handy so that I don't burn anything. I've definitely done that before and I don't want to do it again. I left them on the bedroom floor in my parents house in my room and it like burnt the carpet. So don't do that. Get a little heat protectant mat. And then I just use the hairspray also from Beauty Works. But I'm not that fussy when it comes to like hair products. I do feel like hairspray is hairspray most of the time. But this one is really nice um, saying that. So yeah, I just brush it. And then the way I do it is I section it into about three or four sections um from the bottom working up i'm not going to bore you with like the whole real time of me doing my hair because it does take me quite a while as i said i've got a lot of it so i'll probably just show you the technique and then come back and show you how i finish it off because i think that is one quite important thing that i do is that i don't brush anything until it's all set and dry and not dry cool down and then i brush it all through at the end but you'll see so yeah i start off with the bottom and i just take sections sort of like this big sometimes if i'm feeling really lazy and i don't have much time then i'll just take massive sections because this curler is pretty good at heating up i just sort of 
obviously wrap it around the barrel and I'm a little bit of a rebel, I don't use a glove, but I don't usually burn myself, touch wood. I'm definitely going to now. I always leave a little bit out at the end because I like that sort of beachy wave. Um, I think it looks a bit more natural if you leave a little bit out at the end. Otherwise, if you wrap it all the way around, it looks really curly, but I like a little bit more of a wave. So that's something that I do, that I do think makes a big difference. I'm gonna leave it there for like 20 seconds maybe. As it heats up towards the end, it, it works so fast. But yeah, just sort of hold it for a minute and then let it go. And as you can see, it's quite straight at the end, but I honestly feel like that is the key to how I do mine. Um, so yeah, I just repeat this all over and I do sort of um, mix and match the ways that I do it as well. There's no like particular order. I don't do like two back, two front. I just sort of do whatever, like random, but I do try and mix up the direction because again, I feel like it gives that beachy, wavy look, which I love. So again, just sort of hold it and that's probably where you should wear a glove. Um, but I don't. I feel like curl has got so much better than when I was younger because honestly, my hair used to, I mean, I've probably got better at curling as well, but my hair used to literally take me like two hours to do because they'd hit, like take so long to get hot and stuff. Also, if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my face, I think most of it is what I wore in my like everyday makeup video. Although I have been trying the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautiful Skin Foundation and I am wearing it and it is beautiful. <laughs> what it says on the um, packaging, but yeah, I love that so much. So I might have to do an updated one really soon because I feel like that is gonna become my go-to. Um, yeah, it looks so nice in real life and on the camera. Once I've curled one section, obviously I will do the other side. But just to show you, I just spray each section before I bring down the next lot. Be quite generous um, and leave it, like let that completely cool because if you feel it, it's probably still quite warm. And yeah, once everything's done, I'm going to come back and I'll show you how I do like the front section and then we'll finish it off. So as you can see, forgot to spray. I've done the majority and I've got the little tiny front section um, left to do. I did forget to mention actually that when I actually wrap the hair around the barrel, I'll show you, but I try and keep it really flat. I don't actually know how to explain the difference. Um, I guess some people sort of twist it and then wrap it round. But I feel like when you leave it flat um, and sort of spread out the hair along the barrel, then it just, I don't know. I feel like it just makes it look like a bigger curl and almost probably makes your hair look thicker. Um, but yeah, that's just another tip. I don't know how to explain what that does, but I just think it looks nicer in my opinion. Yeah, that actually didn't take me too long to do my whole head. So once I've done the front bits, which usually people do away from their face. Um, and I think I used to do that as well because I do have some like short bits at the front, which I'm sure you can hopefully see. Um, but I actually curl them towards my face now because I think it gives that more like blow dried effect. And again, makes your hair look like thicker and fuller. So yeah, instead of doing it away, I do it towards, um, which I feel like makes a massive difference. Still leaving out a little bit at the end. So yeah, as you can see, it sort of comes in on your face. Another little trick, just got to do this side and then I'm gonna spray it and then we'll finish it off. Okay, just gonna check I've not missed anything or if any of the bottom have like not been curled properly because it wasn't hot enough, but I think I'm good. I'm gonna spray it. I'm going to let my hair just sit like this for a few minutes and um, for the sake of the video. If I was getting ready to go out somewhere um, for like where I wanted it to last all day or all night, to be honest, my hair does hold her curls pretty well, so it probably would anyway but i'd probably do my hair first clip it back like this and then you know do my makeup get ready and do it last 
just so it's had like so much time to sit and set um, in like the full curls. Obviously, if you like your hair really, really curly, then you don't have to brush it out, but I'm just showing you what I do. So yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes, cool down completely, and then I'm gonna come back and brush it out and then we'll be done. Also, if you can hear someone talking in the background, my sister is working from mine. Um, and that's why I'm trying to be a little bit quieter because she's in the other room on calls. But um, yeah, just in case you were wondering. Okay, I'm gonna brush this out now, guys. So I just take a paddle brush. You can take any brush. I feel like a comb, one of like the wide tooth combs, they're actually really soft on your hair and they do give a really nice finish. But I like to really get in there with a paddle brush and make sure it's all combed all the way through and I just feel like it feels really nice. I just start from the top, brush all the way down and if you've brushed your hair before you've curled it, which I feel like is quite important as well, then it should just brush straight through. Um, but if not, then just keep brushing and honestly, I'm lucky my hair does hold curls really well. Like this will last me a few days and I could keep brushing and it won't fall out. But if your hair does fall out, then try to brush it like once and then just I would just leave it so it can stay. But yeah, I'm gonna brush mine a few times just because I really love like the Hollywood waves. And if you do like Hollywood waves, then I would curl it all the same way. And then the, the curls sort of sit in with each other. But maybe I can do a different video on like Hollywood waves if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is unbrushed and this is brushed. And I feel like this side is a little bit sort of gappy and I don't know, to me it looks a bit unfinished, but as soon as you brush it, it all comes together and I feel like it just looks so soft and a lot thicker. Um, so yeah, I am gonna brush both sides. Sometimes I like flip my head over, have a little play, brush it all back, <laughs> play with it, shush it up. Sometimes I put some like argan oil in it just to tame the frizz. Um, the flyaways but yeah that is pretty much if I'm curling my hair on an everyday basis I might you know do a little bit extra if I'm going out maybe like straight in the top to be fair it's not very kinky today but sometimes the top sort of gets a bit kinked so I do like to straighten those but I think we're all good today and yeah this is just an everyday easy curling video um which a lot of you asked and this is what i did for like the primark haul and stuff so yeah hopefully it does seem simple because it honestly is that took me about 20 minutes from start to finish and it does obviously make such a difference i feel like i look more put together more alive than i did with that little bun on the top of my head but like i said i don't do this every day and i definitely do have a bun on the top of my head a lot of the time i'm gonna wrap this video up here it is half past one which i guess means the morning routine is over um, everything I did this morning would have taken me a lot less time if I wasn't filming it as well. So I probably would have been done about midday if I wasn't filming this because all the angles and stuff, you know, takes time. I'm going to go make myself some lunch and get on with the day, get some content and stuff. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to let me know if you did. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'm actually thinking to do an evening routine as well if you guys do like this. As I said, every day is different. This is just sort of an at-home everyday morning, which I do have probably a couple of times a week. So don't be fooled and don't feel bad if you are always rushing out the door because trust me, I have those mornings as well. But obviously I didn't really want to film a morning routine on that day because I'd probably just get really stressed. Um, but maybe one day I can do that. But yeah, I think that's all I've got to say for now. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.